Maybe you remember my review of the Osmo Pocket a year ago, where I actually enjoyed the Osmo for its compact form, its stabilization and its overall quality as a mobile filming device. A year later and DJI's competitors have actually started to push their own products into the handheld mini gimbal market. I've just gotten the Fimi Palm sent to me by Pair Gear to review and if you join me on this trip you will actually see why I think this is the new king of the mini gimbal device. <laughs> Even though the Palm and all the other pocket MFDs look like a complete knockoff of the Osmo, this seems to be the perfect shape for devices in this category. Small, lightweight, enough battery power to shoot a couple of hours a day and the ease of use dictates the overall looks. But let's have a closer look into the specs and uh, what you actually get for your money's worth. When you first open the package, you are greeted with just the Fimi Palm itself, a small quick start guide and a USB-A to C cable. After charging the device for an hour, powering it on by pressing the red button, the gimbal tests itself and after a couple of seconds, it's ready to be used. It can be connected to the appropriate app via Wi-Fi and can then be controlled remotely with all of its different settings. Very handy if you're a solo shooter. This is a practical way to eliminate the very small screen on the device itself if you are in need of some bigger menus on your smartphone. The next thing that uh, separates the Palm from the Osmo is the built-in joystick with whom you can rotate the gimbal up to almost 360 degrees. You can also do this with the Osmo while touching and rubbing on the screen, but a haptic interaction with the joystick is almost always the smoother and more controlled input method. Now to the camera specs. The Fimi Palm's max recording quality is set to 4K 30. This is plenty of resolution from a small 1 over 2 thirds CMOS sensor. This is the same sensor that is built into the Mavic Mini, which gives you a data rate of 100 megabytes per second, which is quite good and comparable to my Sony Alpha 6 camera. It has a 120 degree field of view, which tops the Osmo's 80 degrees with ease and gives vloggers, for example, plenty of room and background to play with. In my opinion, this is the one thing that makes the Palm a better device for most of its target audience. I never really liked the narrow field of view that you actually get from the Osmo Pocket. Now let's look at the stabilization that the gimbal provides. It's smooth. It eliminates most of the walk and run chitter that you get without a gimbal, but you still have the up and down movement from a normal walk. This can be eased if you learn how to ninja walk, plenty of tutorials out there on YouTube. Here is some test footage of the stabilization. And now let's see how the tracking is actually working. Since the Palm has a wider field of view, it doesn't have to make sudden changes and movements while following the person, which makes it much smoother than the Osmo Pocket. I am actually really impressed in how good it follows my movements since I am a manual shooter and not used to face tracking or other automated functions. The color and overall looks of the device are good for its size. It can be graded to a certain extent and in my opinion the base footage that you get has a small green cast which can be easily removed in post. The F-Lock is fine and my go-to setting with any device that uses lock formats. The HDR function is just a gimmick and I actually don't recommend using it with such a tiny sensor device. Since uh, this is actually catered to action-y, sporty, outdoor, talky people, I actually had to test out the built-in microphones and the quality is fine for such a small device. If you want to make some serious business with it, I would actually shop around the internet and see if there is some sort of audio connector or upgrade kit for the microphone. Otherwise, it's just fine. So this is the audio test for the Fimi Palm. I don't know how it sounds, but I think it should sound actually pretty good or at least tolerable if you don't have an external microphone. So, hope we do. So, to sum it all up, the Fimi Palm is the better device overall with its 4K 30 FPS, 120 degrees field of view, its larger battery and its good stabilization for a lower price. I would recommend it much more than the Osmo Pocket. So, I would like to know from you guys which one of the two Pocket MFDs is the one you would actually buy. 
I've put some links down in the description if you buy it uh, through that. I, it will cost you nothing, uh, but gives me a percentage of the cost. This will actually help my channel greatly. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't uh, for more reviews, tutorials and everything else about filmmaking. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to. Would be appreciated. I am actually off writing the next script and we will see us in the next video. My name is Leech and until then, yeah, goodbye.